Hey guys, this is Sad Man. And today I'm going to be showing you the Jazz JDC 77. It came out in 2013 and I got it at Goodwill for $4.50. And as you can see, it's a very cheap camera. The plastic cheap and the build's cheap and well, everything about it is just a cheap camera that's made for like landfills. It's just an e-waste camera that's very cheap. And right now, I'm going to turn it on. And now it's on. Anyway, here are some test pictures and some test videos that I'm taking with this camera. Here's a test video for the Jazz camera. And right now, you see the trees and the bushes. You hear the birds chirping. Anyway, so I'll say for now. Bye. Alright, here's a test video for the 320 by 240 resolution for the Jazz camera. And right now you can see the trees and the bushes. You can hear the birds chirping. Anyway, so I'll say for now. Bye. Anyway, here are the little buttons. In the middle, there's a D-pad and the OK button. If you press the up arrow, it turns this light on. It's the flashlight. And the low and the bottom, you press down, it, it can delete pictures and videos. And right here, you press that. On the bottom, you press that. Play button it switches from video to playback to camera. 
and that button right here next to it is the menu. And on the top is, on the left is the power button, and on the right is the star button. And on top right here, you can see a, a T and a W. That's for zooming in, zooming out, and I'm demonstrating you right now. And it's a digital zoom. It's not an analog zoom. As you can see, it's a digital zoom. And now I'm going to go to the menu. You can set the resolution to these modes right here. You can set the quality to super fine, fine, and normal. You can also set the metering, the white balance, the exposure. The driver mode, the effect, the scene mode, the date stamp, and the anti shake. And for the settings, the setup, you can do auto review, power frequency, power save, date and time, language, format, and you set all. And in the video mode, the menu is a little bit different. You can set the movie size to either 640 by 480 or 320 by 240. You can set the frame rate to either 30 FPS or 15 FPS. You can set the metering, the white balance, the effect, and the date stamp. And the setup for the video mode is basically the same thing. Anyway, so I'll say for now. Hope you enjoyed it.